Hey guys, we're going to take a quick look at Primordius, the 8th boss in the Throne of Thunder. The 10 man PTR testing session for this boss was not very productive as the boss was greatly overtuned, so we're going to use some footage from LFR as well. So Primordius is a single phase fight. By default, everyone in the raid does greatly reduced damage to Primordius, so DPSing him is not efficient. There is a way to get rid of this damage reduction that the boss has, and to do that you will need to kill a lot of these small adds that you can see moving towards the boss. The adds are called living fluids, and they spawn from the edges of the room all fight long. All they do is move slowly towards Primordius, and if they reach him, they basically buff him. We'll talk more about that in a bit. When you kill a living fluid, it leaves behind a small void zone called a mutagenic pool. Stepping into this void zone consumes it and grants you a stack of a beneficial buff. There are several different buffs you can gain and which one you actually get is randomly decided. There's a buff that increases your stats, one that increases your mastery, one that increases your haste and one that increases your critical strike chance. If you gather 10 combined stacks of these buffs, then you gain another buff called fully mutated. Both the initial buffs and the fully mutated buff have 2 minute durations, and while fully mutated is active, you deal full, unreduced damage to Primordius. The caveat is that while you are fully mutated, stepping into any more void zones will start stacking detrimental buffs on you, basically the opposite of the buffs we mentioned before but more potent. So the strategy for defeating the boss is to kill living fluids until you become fully mutated, then to attack Primordius for the 2 minute duration, then return to the adds once your mutation wears off and so on until the end of the fight. Before we talk about what Primordius himself actually does, we'd like to mention one last thing about these buffs. They can be dispelled, and a single dispel will remove all the buffs, both beneficial and detrimental from a player. So dispelling is very bad and you shouldn't do it. Mistweaver Monk's revival worked in dispelling every buff from every raid member on the PTR, so watch out for that in case it is not fixed for live servers. So on to Primordius. First of all, he stacks a dot on the tanks called Malformed Blood. In addition to the damage this deals, it also causes the respective tank to deal increased damage to the living fluids. This dot requires a tank switch, and whichever tank is not tanking Primordius should attack the living fluids. Primordius also has a frontal cone attack called Primordial Strike, but we didn't really notice this being used. With these two basic abilities out of the way, we can look at the stuff Primordius does that really matters. He has a resource bar that tracks his mutation level. His mutation increases slowly over time on its own, and whenever a living fluid add reaches him, he gains additional mutation. Each time the bar fills up, Primordius evolves, gaining a stack of a buff called Evolution, which permanently increases his damage done by 10%. What's more, each time Primordius evolves, he gains one of six abilities at random. He can only have three of these abilities active at one time, so when it is time to get the fourth one, it will simply replace the first one that he gained, and so on. We'll go through the abilities quickly and tell you how to deal with them. Ventral Sax causes Primordius to deal raid-wide nature damage every second, and it is just something your healers must deal with. Caustic Gas causes Primordius to deal a very large amount of nature damage split between all players within 25 yards of him. All raid members should be in this radius to split the damage. Acidic Spines is a nuke that targets random raid members and deals damage to all players within 5 yards of them. You just have to be spread out for this ability. Volatile Pathogen is a nature damage dot that Primordius applies on random players which must simply be healed through. Erupting Pustules causes Primordius to cast a sort of Shadow Crash spell, targeting random raid members with projectiles that inflict nature damage in an area when they land. Finally, Metabolic Boost increases Primordius' attack speed and reduces the cooldown of his other abilities. Your raid will need to quickly adapt to whatever the current three abilities are and react accordingly. So what is the strategy for the fight? Well, it's fairly straightforward. Have all DPS players who are not fully mutated DPS the living fluids. This prevents them from reaching Primordius and boosting his mutation and also allows players to pick up beneficial buffs from the void zones they leave behind. Players who reach fully mutated status should switch to Primordius and DPS him while they do unreduced damage to him. There is one last thing to mention. Occasionally, the living fluids will leave behind a larger void zone called Volatile Pool instead of a Mutagenic Pool. Volatile Pools move very slowly towards Primordius. They deal damage to raid members who come in contact with them and apply a detrimental buff, such as the ones you get if you pick up Mutagenic Pools while fully mutated. 
if Primordius himself comes in contact with a volatile pool because the pool moved to him or because an ad was killed on top of him or because he was moved on top of a pool, he receives a new stack of evolution and is healed for 10% of his maximum health. That's about all there is to say about this fight. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Our written guide explains the fight in more detail. There's a link to it in the description below. We're also going to release a proper video guide for this boss after we have a chance to do it on live servers. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe.